This is me mate Kevin come out from Aussie to see me. Just about to play before you rocked up here. Oh, bugger me. That's a first. I've never ever seen a mallard come into the yard. And the Pakeko's in the feeder over there. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at that. You can clap your hands if you want it, bro. Need some rhythm. There we go. No man, no man on a county farm. 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 Ah, you got to fuck off. <laughs> no man, no man gonna dog me around. 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 We all know the colours, and uh, just uh, talking to Tommy here, he's rocked up and saying to him, mate, you look like you work for the uh, mega store. And he was saying to me uh, that one uh, of our uniforms, if you walk into Mitre to Maggie, you generally get asked questions where stuff is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, was well, saying with his truck, yeah. let me show you his truck. No man, no man on the county farm. No man, no man on the county farm. Sing it, bro. No man, no man on the county farm. No man, no man on the county farm. Yeah. Oh, good. That's good. What about with stock proofing and that? How's that going? Uh, she doesn't chase sheep. Hasn't yep. yet. Um, although, Have you done stock proofing with her on sheep? Uh, a little bit. Yep. Um, haven't used the shock crawl on her yet. It's just, I don't know, just telling her off. Should we walk her through my sheep while you're here, just while I do a bit of training? Yeah, give it a go. Just some sheep around the corner, we'll just put it up there. She's going to be a bit of a bitch if she hasn't been out for a while. She's, she's just been, been laid out so, hasn't she? She's just seen the sheep, so we'll see how we go. Getting in. She's interested. You want her to be interested, you just don't want her to, to yeah, chase Yeah, I want her to be interested in stuff that's not chasing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's already naturally like going, yeah. This one's a tame one, so I'll say g'day this one here. G'day, mate. There you go. Hey, fatty. Hey, fatty. <laughs> She's looking good, isn't she? Good girl. I like her, mate. I reckon she's going to be a cracker dog, eh? Yeah, it's just fine tuning her now. Yeah, yeah. She knows the commands, it's just. Mm. Good. Good girl. You know, she's looking good, eh? Currently sitting in the houseboat, it's late, going to go to bed, just come down to see Hillary, have a cup of tea, and she told me a story. Well, she's in the middle of telling me a story. I said, I've got to record this. I can't. Can I sit beside you? Yeah, sure. You won't bite? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so, exactly what happened? I was filling up my car at NPD. We're about to switch stations. Down on Motawaka. Oh, Motawaka, the, the big one. The big one. Yeah. yeah, it's the cheapest one to go. Yeah. yeah, and there's a woman called in there in her four-wheel drive. Oh, okay. What was old, it? old one. Oh, just a Toyota. I don't know. Yeah. It makes very well. Yeah. Yeah. And she went going from machine to machine. I was filling up my car, just going from machine to machine and getting really stressed. On the verge of tears. Oh. Oh, she was really could, upset. Could you feel her energy? When, oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was a, a desperate sort of despair, like. Yeah. You know, yeah. like she really needed to get that petrol. So I said to her, um, I said, I'll pay for it. And she said, you can't do that. And I said, I can. And I just swiped my MPD card through and pinned it all in. And I said, 95. And she said, yes, yes, so 95. And I said, there you go. And she sort of stood there and went, 
But people don't do that. Everybody's broke. People don't do that. She said, can I give you a hug? And I said, yeah, of course you can. She asked for my name. So I said, cheers. I said, you better get filling. And got in my car and drove away. Wow. <laughs> and she had the biggest grin on her face when I moved oh, away. So it's just like... such a cool story. So I just thought, wow. That, that moves my heart. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And, yeah. and how did it make you feel? Oh, great. I, I felt good because... Running a business and our fuel bills are so huge. Yeah. With the diesel and. Diesel's got ridiculous, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And so another hundred and forty dollars or. Still 50, your money. Eighty dollars. Oh, it is, but. Yeah, good on you. But overall. That is so cool. Just... You know what time it is, Super Duck? Hey. It's time to check the mushrooms, the mushrooms, the mushrooms. Time to check me mushrooms to see how they are. Oh, me mushrooms, me mushrooms, where are me mushrooms? Down here on the bunker, that's where they are. And how are they doing? Well, it's been two days, and... And it's dark. Come on, light, focus. Oh, there we go. Holy cow, look at this. Oh, man. That's happened in two days? No way. Look at this. I take them out here into the light... So you can really see them. Focus, 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 come on. Look at this, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. They're oyster mushrooms. And they've only had like two days since uh, Cam dropped them off. Thank you, Cam. So Cam's been helping me with my woolly mushrooms that I'm growing down here. I bought some, uh, oh, what do you call it, mycelium, is that right? Spawn. And put it in there so got a bit of this stuff just give these guys a bit of a squirt just on the bag not actually on the mushroom and around here too and i think this is going to be a really good place to grow mushrooms in my bunker the old bunker happy days exciting it's pretty bloody windy i'm carrying this uh this frame it's an old uh, table steel frame going down to the ducks because the, the duck that's sitting on eggs, her eggs are, are going pick, pick, pick on the inside. So we're going to have hopefully some ducklings for the first time. So far we've failed. This is to put a frame around her house so I can put a net over it so the, the hawks and the pukekos and the wild cats and everything don't get into the, the, uh, the babies. There's rats that get them too and stoats so we want some protection. They may be hatched, I don't know. See what we get down there. Got these uh, mallards on me pond. Pretty tame. I wonder if they've worked out how the duck feeder goes yet. I bet they have. They're all clever buggers. Oh, let's see what's going on inside the laying box. All we need now is a bit of wire. So far I've done half it and that's all I'm going to do for now. That way she can go to the feeder, get water and come back in. Once she's got her babies, I'm going to close it right up, block the holes in the bottom and cover the top. And then I'll put some feed in there for the ducklings and for her and a big bowl of water. And that can be her house until she raises them big enough to be safe from predators. That's the mother duck there having a big old feed. She's been sitting for that nest a long time. So while she's doing that... We're going to look at her eggs. I've uncovered them and these guys are going to hatch soon I reckon. Anybody got any cracks? Don't see any. Put the old one to my ear and have a listen. Well that one's got nothing. They just must be dew by now though. That's got a, that's got a tapping on it. Definitely, definitely a duckling in that one. Oh. We'll get them covered back up and leave them. She can come back in a minute. Keep them nice and warm until she comes back. In New Zealand, you'll be eating asparagus right now. That's the roots of the crown there. That's another one coming up. And another one. And these uh, roots are exposed because Peter the pesky pukeko has been into them. I was faced with, do I shoot Peter and make him into pukeko stew or do I do this? And I did this instead. I'll put a net around my plants. That will also keep the ducks off and everything else that predates on them. And right now I'm planting this, uh, it's called Cavallo Nero is the, uh, the, I think the Latin term for it, but actually I just call it Tuscan, Tuscan kale. And it's a nice kale. 
and it grows these big dark green leaves. So I'm putting that in the ground uh, just between my asparagus just to utilize the ground. So I've got asparagus here and I've got asparagus over there. I'm going to put uh, a few of those kales in. So this will be a kale plot and also a asparagus plot. But I won't get asparagus for another year because these crowns only went in this year. They take a couple of years to really go. This uh, pump goes when the sun's out and I use it to water my wasabi and it also circulates the water stopping it being stagnant and stopping it breeding mosquitoes. Very very handy to have it. It's got seaweed in it and worm juice so it's sort of like a fertiliser as well. You can do all the plants in it. We're not using it, we just pop it back down here and it circulates again. The wasabi likes a lot of shade so we keep it well covered. Some of my baleage got wet, so I couldn't uh, sell it or use it for feed, as you can see. It's quite wet, but what it's really good for using is, is a mulch. I've mulched all the Colovo Nero kale, or Tuscan kale as I call it, and the asparagus in. Well, other than a bit of water, it should be pretty much a hassle-free garden over summer. And pull the old weed out. You get a bit lost down there, are you? Hey? It's almost haymaking time, isn't it? Trying to come through this grass. Oh, Pace just jumped straight over Tilly. Tilly's staying right under my feet, going through the grass because it's so thick. Otherwise she gets lost. You look, I've walked through here and she's right there the whole time. Oh no, there she goes, she's broken away now. Oh no, she's still there. Just going through these tracks. Hardly get through it. Grass for miles. It's bloody beautiful, this paddock. I love it. Dogs love it too. You guys watch this. I'll start scratching the grass, you watch. She come over. She can't help herself. She can't help her. There you go, look. Bit of a grubs, aren't you, mate? You think I'm there? Yeah. What's that there? Is that a slug? Hey, what's that, super duck? What's that there? <laughs> mm, it smells nice lemongrass. Hey? Very, very tame. Very tame, aren't you, eh? Very tame. Hey, mate, you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time? Hey? Eh? Yeah? What time it is? It's time to check the mushrooms, the mushrooms, the mushrooms. Time to check the mushrooms to see how they are. Mushrooms, the mushrooms. Time to check the mushrooms down there in the bunker. That's where they are. Gonna check me wood, dear me wood, dear me wood, dear. Gonna check me wood here, right down here. And down by the bunker, we'll also find some oyster, oyster mushrooms. Focus, please, for me. And how are they doing today? Holy cow! Man, they have grown. I'll take them out so you can see the light. Jeez. Oh, it smell nice. That is six days. Holy smokes, they are heaps. Okay, yeah. Uh, might give them another day or two. Apparently you can get a couple of fruits out of them, like you whack all that off and then they fruit again, and sometimes even three. Cool, well my wood ears aren't growing, but uh, that's uh, the oysters. And the other ones, they should be soon, but the wood ears, uh, yeah, they're gonna take a while, I think. Pretty dark in here. Put these guys back up. And what I'm gonna do is just give everything a bit of a squirt again. Keep it nice and moist. And for you guys that asked, that there is a cream separator. That's right, you spin this here, and this uh, wheel starts spinning, centrifugal force, doesn't need much, and it keeps on going. I think the cream goes up in here, but uh, hasn't been used for years. That'll spin for ages. Pretty cool, eh? Right, let's carry on with this. So, Bigsy and Pace have just had a big scrap, and Pace is going to the vet. Pace, come. Pace, come. Up you come. Good boy. Pace, up here. Up here, boy. Pace, up. Pace, up. Good boy. Up. He's got multiple uh, multiple wounds on him. Yeah. Lucky to be alive, aren't you, mate? We've got two under his neck. The top's ripped so many times, won't staple gun that up. Yeah. So damage run to the vet. I've got it already sorted. Right now. I'm on the edge of uh, thinking about... Well, I'm going to definitely get uh, Bigsy neutered. But uh, can't tolerate dogs fighting. That was not good at all. And even with us both, they weren't listening at all. That'll do. 
yeah, not good, bloody not good at all. Nothing to see here, super duck and ducky. Come on, move along. You good girl, Poe? You stay there. Good girl. You're not a good boy, are you? No, you're a bad boy. He's got a few bites on him from Pace. But uh, you put Pace in the hospital, didn't you, mate? What are we going to do with you? I'll tell you what, mate. You should enjoy your nuts while you've got them because they'll be going very soon. Come on. Sheep's wool. Great mulch for the garden. Going to put a net on this soon. Going to take the seeds off all these and put them in packets for later on for growing. And this here is going to come off and we're going to make terraces when all of the grass underneath it has died. Pick up. Big cup. You're starting close, aren't you, mate? You know you're not in my good books, don't you, hey? You know that. Most of Pace's wounds are superficial, but it'll be expensive. And when he comes home, he'll be leaving something back at the vet. And that'll be his nuts. His balls are coming off. I told the vet, uh, if you're giving a general, take his balls out. And uh, Bigsy will be losing his nuts too. I don't really tolerate dogs that fight, and that's not the first time that Bigsy and Pace have done that. Too good just to put down. A lot of guys do, but uh, too much work, and I love my dogs, and there's got to be another way around it. So the call of action is cut off the nuts. It does lower testosterone. It can decrease the aggression it doesn't decrease the prey drive a lot of guys think it do it doesn't some of the best dogs I've ever known have had no nuts Chun who was my old dog had no nuts brilliant dog but uh, we've got to do something because today was a bad fight uh, Damo had them both by the kennel you saw pace he's, he's opened up quite a bit and uh, I'm left with nothing really much other than do than uh, take that step it's been an expensive week and uh, it's cost me quite a lot of uh, anxiety and stress but that's part of having pig dogs at a higher prey drive and in fairness to the dogs I haven't been hunting them much uh, while my health is it's getting better but I need probably another a few more months before I'm back in the bush doing that I'm going to walk them through the uh, sheep here I'm going to leave you guys with me mate Kev who came out today it was good to see a Kev Kev come out and he uh g'day mate he gave us uh, some dog roll some posse yum and he gave me some folding which I said I don't want that mate and uh, he just wanted to make a contribution well the amount I'm going to spend this week at the vets uh, his contribution will go to some of it because it's not not cheap but anyway that's what we pay the price for having dogs these guys here they are so friendly now I come in each day and just hang around them the old ram was had me back to him the other day and I was holding the phone like this and I watched him coming in and put his head down I turned around I put my boot out, he was going to bump me up the bum. One of you said something to me, you said oh, I should watch uh, with this uh, lamb ewe, because it's, it's a ewe, that the rams might start mounting it soon, so I'm going to have to put her in a separate packet. Separate packet? A separate paddock. She puts, if she goes into a, into a pack, packet, that means I've cut a throat, we've, we've cooked her up and she's lamb stew, which she could become. I'll leave you guys with uh, Kevin and me doing old song Dog and Knife, which is... Uh, I think it's my Quarry Treed CD. He never hurt in his life before and he joined in and uh, I'll leave you with that for, for an outro of the video. Be good, can't be good, be careful. And if you make it to the end of the song, well done. Well, there they go. Beautiful. We don't care if the antis cry, if it flies, then it dies. Boom, boom. Duck tonight. Come on, Bo, let's go. Come on. Good boy, it's a good boy, or it's a good boy, eh? I always hoped he'd sing, eh? But he doesn't sing, you know, some dogs you play oh. harmonica and they're, oh, yeah. He won't sing. What's the story, eh? No sing. Oh. <laughs> Come on, sing like a dog. Hell, hell hand. He's looking at you, he's good. It's going to put white hairs all over your black. That's all right, mate. <laughs> got a worn out cruiser, got a worn out back. From rolling damn piggies up and down the mountain track, I'm singing dog and up, dog and up. I haven't got time for a white collar life. Look at all 
all the hair coming off on your no, no, pants, man. That's all right. Mate. White hair and a bogan don't mix. Uh, <laughs> still making washing powder. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> Patient molding, man. Look at it all yeah. coming off. Need a brush. Yeah, need a brush. Well, he's getting one right now on your pants. Yeah. Well, the ball won't bail and the hands won't hold. Life can be hard, so I have been told If you don't live your dreams, you'll always wonder why The old boy grinds his tusks while your life passes you by I'm singing, dog and knife, dog and knife I haven't got time for a white collared life Dog and knife, dog and knife I haven't got time for a white collared life Got a Ridgeline shirt and a Magnum 44 Cause sometimes you need just a little bit more Dog and night, dog and night I haven't got time for a white collared life Dog and night, dog and night I haven't got time for a white collared life You got time for a white all over your pants? Now look at your pants! That's alright! Yeah. Yeah. Pace, it's all going everywhere, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a brush? We well, give him a brush. Ah, uh, Kev giving you the treatment of the old bloody hearth brush there, Pace. Yeah. Here's all coming off too, mate. He's loving it. <laughs> Look at his coat coming oh, up. take it all day, mate. Oh, he loves it, eh? He can yeah. stick his face. Oh, that's a spot. Yeah, he loves that there, eh? He's enjoying that. Get that winter coat all off. There's a heat coming off him. Yeah. Normally don't don't like being brushed the wrong way, but he doesn't seem to mind, I does he? Think, uh, well, that's uh, I've heard that's the way to do it. You brush the opposite way, then you go the other way. Yeah, yeah, that's the way you and get off. More that, resistance yep. to yep. go the opposite way, apparently. Yep.